Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Part Shala's video series where mysteries of new age technologies are unlocked and real world secrets revealed in front of you. Empower your career in cloud and DevOps with our comprehensive online courses. You would learn the leading on-demand technologies in various domains like AWS, Terraform which is used for infrastructure as code, Ansible which is used for configuration and management, Git and GitHub which is used for continuous integration, Jenkins which is used for continuous delivery, Docker used for containerization and Kubernetes used for container orchestration. In this particular video, we are looking at PG Admin, the tool which is preferred and used to manage the Postgres databases. We would be connecting to a Postgres database in AWS cloud. But irrespective of the cloud provider, the steps for connecting to a database remains the same across all platforms that are there out in the world. Now, in order to connect to the database, we would need to have a client which understands the Postgres database in and out. For this, we would be using the PG admin client to connect to the database in this video. So first, let's begin by installing the PG admin client on our Windows machines. I would be going to the Google search and would be typing in PG admin download and this would take me to the PG admin .org. So once we are into this uh, download section of the page, I could click on Windows. I would be downloading the Windows package and here I have a detailed list of options that I could use. I would be going with the latest version that is uh, version 6.19 which was uh, released on 17th of Jan 2023. I would be clicking on the exe file and this would then initiate the download on my system. So I already had a version of it. I would quickly replace that with the existing file. Now that the file has been downloaded on the system, I would double click on the file and this should open the installer for us. Now if that doesn't work from the browser's window, you could always go into show in the folder option and do it from there. Right click on the installer and run it as an administrator. I would say run and this would then initiate the installation on the system. I would strongly recommend you to install this for all users. So if there is anyone who would like to share your computer but not your password can still access your application. I click on I accept the agreements and then click on next and this should install the client on our devices. So as you see uh, the installation is completed and I can click on finish over here and once the installation is finished finished I could then launch PG admin from my start window. This is how the tool would look like when we start the process. Now when we are connecting to the database we primarily have to know some of the information which we would be looking further. So as soon as the PG admin client is ready for use, it would ask, be asking you to set a password on the client which would allow it to save the credentials for future purposes. You could click on servers which is there on the extreme top left of the screen and right click on it and go to register and then click on server. So this would initiate a registration of a server. You could give the name of the server saying CP demo DB1 is the name of the server that I would like to connect. And then you could go into the connections tab. Here I would have to provide the host name or the address of the database server. So I would go into my AWS where I have my PostgreSQL 
database running and so here is the entry point which is what we would be using in order to connect to the database i would be using the master username that is postgres in this case and i would be using the password that we that we set when the database was being created now if you don't remember the database uh, master password it is always recommended to reset the database master password from the aws console itself now that we have already selected i would also be confirming the port number on which my database is connecting which is 5432 and i would click on save once all the information has been put in once i click on save this would then connect to the database and I could go onto the database and expand all the databases to see what all information I am presented with. So as you see uh, that uh, CP demo DB1 is the database that I have. Postgres is the default database that is created when the database was created by AWS itself. Uh, we have uh, only one schema in this database which is the public schema and then if you go to tables, you would not find any tables listed in the schema. So this is how the database is created and this is how you use PG admin to connect to the database. If you would like to do some administrative tasks on the database itself, you could always go to the logins and group roles and you could try to get a sense of how many users are created in the database. So this is all about uh, the PG admin tool and if you have to write something on the database what you could do is for example if you would like to perform some options on the database what you could do is right click on the database itself that is Postgres and click on query tool or which would give you a text editor window wherein you could type the query that you would like to perform on the database. For example, I would create a table called as employees where I have columns like ID, name and date of birth. So I could execute this and you would see that the table has been created. Now that the table has been created, what you could do is refresh on this database. So you could click right click on this and select refresh and this would give you an updated version of all the information and now when you go into the tables you would see that you already have an employee table and this is how you could get the details of the tables now that we have not done any insert query on the database you would not find any of the information over here now if you have to perform an insert query on this table so what you could do is right click on the table and you could go for a query tool over here and this would initiate the query tool on that particular table you could enter your insert query and then you could hit enter and this would insert your data into the table now i could as usual do a refresh on the table itself and now if i do a select star from on this particular table i would get the default information as you see now if i have to enter another details so what i could do is uh, say john day uh, person maybe uh, was born in 1882 on the 10th and i could do an insert query over here as well so this is how you would one create a data create a table in a postgres database do some insert operations on this database and then how you could select or read the data from the table inside the database that's it for this video guys uh, please like and share the video if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching keep having a great day.